Okay, well, I found some sharp things that gotta be fixed. Welcome to another episode of Extreme Costumes. Today, we're gonna talk about the transforming doors. That's it. The doors are there. They stand up, they flare into place. When the car becomes level, they drop down. It's really simple. They're gravity fed, they fit right into place. They're color matched when I'm all done with them. But let's take a closer look. I started with the door panel straight from the toy car that I started building this whole costume from. I just chopped it off from the rest of it, following the lines that the door itself would have followed on a real car. And I had it attached to the costume, but I had an awkward point. Here's the costume, here's where I wanted the door. Like nine inches out there in the middle of nowhere. And it's got a hinge. And it can't just have one hinge, it's got to have two or three to keep it stable. Well, it was fairly simple though. Why don't we get that camera on over here? Two hinges for the sole function of making it less wobbly. Right over here is a piece of metal. Function of that piece of metal prevents it from closing too far. I don't have to worry about that wearing out, it's never going to bend. Supports from several different angles, yet with enough space in here that my own shoulder can move up and down. An important part of this costume is that I should be able to maintain full mobility. When I go from car mode to robot mode, gravity's going to pull this open. The uh, hook you see over here is a sole function of allowing me to be able to open this up. And the basic pur purpose of that is that I can fit it in my car. Because <laughs> sometimes i got to take it with me to work. Put this piece right back on here again, and it open and closes right in the range I want it to. The whole unit's fairly light. I'm going to have to trim it back a little bit over here to accommodate for the arm flares. I still have to mount the piece of plexiglass that's going to be simulating the glass that you'll find in the door. And it should be completed for this piece within the next week. Additions also I've made. If you can see down inside here, you'll see that I've added more Wonderflex so that the fingers no longer get entangled with this chunk. Uh, there's always seems to be something new for it to stick to, but uh, the latest try was working pretty smoothly. Now I have to color match everything. We've got our spring-loaded back piece still working pretty good. And this here might replace, I'm not too happy with the string. You'll notice that there's glue at all these intermittent points. In some cases, I actually chopped off the screws where I thought there were danger. In other cases, I just put a dab of glue on the end of it so that if I randomly happen to touch it, I'm not going to hurt myself or cause myself to bleed too much. Screws like this one here that actually go through the plastic, they can never be cut because uh, the action of cutting them would heat them up so much that they would just melt th straight through the plastic. Well, that's this week's episode. Thanks for following along on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you next Saturday.